Hello. Hey. Hello. How are you? Thank you so much for uh, for sitting down and chatting with us. Um, we actually originally had met um, just very briefly at the Angrizi Medium, um, the premiere. So uh, a, f- a fan of mine had sent me a recording of you mentioning that you had met me uh, uh-huh. for that uh, for the uh, we were the with premiere. we were with and Man I, I, yeah, Manpreet uh, was even my uh, business manager at that time, uh-huh. and she was also a fan subs manager. Mm. So I remember meeting a uh, couple of American. <laughs> men, <but> I- <laughs> that was probably us. <laughs> yeah, but, but I had no idea uh, who you were or what you do. Uh, I was thinking maybe uh, it was must must be Irfan uh, Saab, one of the uh, American collaborators, because he was working extensively in the West as well. Yeah, yeah. Well, we, it, it was it was more just a brief hello. So I'm not it, not shocked that you'd only remember two white guys. That makes total sense. Um, <laughs> but uh, I'm so glad we uh, get to sit down and, and talk to you. We've been a big admirer of yours since. The first actual Indian film we ever saw in movie theater, because we've been watching Indian cinema for almost two years now. Uh, But the first one we ever saw in theaters was Gully Boy. And obviously everything about that film we loved. Uh, Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. This is uh, fascinating. I mean, yeah. Wow, so this is amazing. The uh, we loved everything about that film. You included. You jumped off the screen at us uh, immediately um, when we saw that, and obviously we've explored you more. And now we just watched Mesa Park season two, which was absolutely incredible. So we'll get into that. But first, we want to know how did you originally become an actor, or want to know how become did an I actor? I think it was a childhood fixation uh, with the big screen and all the magic that happens and all the way the way women react to it or any of any on all of those reasons. Uh-huh. Um, but it always looked like a very distinct distant picture. It doesn't look like it's an accessible one for somebody yeah. who doesn't come uh, or comes from a background like mine. We are business family. Uh, uh, nothing to do with the movies. Mm-hmm. In fact, it is something that is frowned upon. Uh, within the community, yeah. So, so I harnessed, I harbored that dream within my heart closely for, I guess, a few years before I even. And I tried various other jobs uh, and failed at them miserably to even to to understand. <laughs> not it, this is not what I like doing. Mm-hmm. And I I applied at the film institute. The, there's a very uh, prestigious film and television institute of India in Pune, mm-hmm. uh, which is probably the best uh, film institute in Asia right now, and a very old 60-year-old institute. So, so I went to that, applied at that film school, and I I didn't get the seat. Um, but that but the experience of being there for four days and learning uh, a bit about acting. Uh, made me feel very good. So I went back to Hyderabad and I started learning theatre. And I was doing stage for a year and then I applied again and that's how I got my uh, uh, got a seat at FTI and, that, and that's when I started learning uh, acting seriously. But it was uh, it was it was like almost like coming out of the closet kind of a situation where mm-hmm. you feel like go, go and tell your parents that uh, you want to be an actor. <laughs> <laughs> so i love the fact that you said you went and auditioned didn't get the seat but immediately just went back to hyderabad and continued to study and then went back again you didn't have any discouragement at all you just felt like great learning process and now i'm just going to move forward and i'll come back you at the time that's how you felt no uh that uh, so I I have tried various jobs and failed at that miserably, right? Uh, but 
failures didn't hit me but not getting that seat hit me hard and mm. i had to it took me a couple of months to gather myself up okay and then i, and then I started finding a solution to the to the problem because i tasted that blood for yes. four days yes uh, yes around 80 80 other actors trying to fight for those 20 seats mhm <laughs> and that was uh, the last rejection you ever got as an actor right <laughs> <laughs> Um <laughs> uh, I you I have a suspicion that y- you have a fairly still young career so far. You're still fairly new in terms of uh people knowing about you even though you've been in for obviously a few years now. Um but I have I have a f- it feeling for, it started it started around the same time for both of us last two years ago with Oh yeah. Gully Boy. <laughs> yeah. Boy, right? Yeah. yeah. Because uh, that, that changed the thought. I was working before. That's why you you finished. No, no, question. no. Um, I can smoke, right? It's, 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 yo, yeah, of course. Oh, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Anytime. Um, my suspicion is that you you've had a career similar, uh, at least currently, of how Nawaz started out. He we interviewed Nawaz, and he said originally everybody wanted to hand him a gun instead of a girl in terms of the roles. Uh, have you had a similar? a uh, career path that people wanted to start doing that and 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 why do you think that that is Yeah they had they wanted to hand me a girl and <laughs> not the gun Oh got gotcha. you <laughs> <laughs> So that happened with Pink uh yeah there was a feature film called Pink Yeah we saw that one I had a, a a very violent scene with a girl Yeah uh, with another lovely actress Yeah and soon after that I started uh, getting offers of putting me in a car in a room in a go down in a junkyard in a yeah <laughs> something to do with putting me in a space with a girl to really traumatize her so <laughs> but then I <had> to <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> So you said just a second ago <laughs> things things really changed as I imagine they would the exposure that Gully Boy gave you was really a big change for your career. It did. It just uh, gave me uh it put me in the forefront. Uh, it it it, uh, it was a, a face or a name that was not recognized anywhere or probably one person in a hundred uh something like that but with that film it suddenly became a sensation. The fa- the film became a very big success therefore mm-hmm. it also penetrated uh, deep into the culture or uh, of the of the music and the films here in india yeah, yeah. so so that helped and, and soon after that i saw a tremendous uh, interest in my uh, new found uh, <laughs> uh, what do you call it uh, identity talent um how did you actually get involved with gully boy what was the casting process like with zoya uh so it was through an audition I was called to come and read uh, the part of Moeen and uh, I read the part with the casting directors a couple of scenes I played them played out uh, the scene in the jail mm-hmm. and the scene uh, uh, at at the ground I guess no at at the at at the garage where he comes and he says you're making these kids work and uh, asked them to right. sell uh, making them use uh, as peddlers and stuff to which uh, moin retaliates so th- we tested for these two scenes and after a couple of weeks i got a call back saying that uh, the director wants to meet you and i was headed to uh, bandra uh, where uh, the officers uh, and uh, just about like 10 minutes away before i was reaching the place i get i get a call from the casting dr- director saying that Oh, we forgot to inform you that uh, you will have to do the scenes again. So I was like, oh, but I, I, just, I don't remember. This two weeks ago, I and uh, there was a, so I went through the scenes in my phone quickly, and I was thinking this is a meeting where the director will meet me and decide whether I have the energy to carry the role or not. Uh, but it turned out to be a screen test. I walked in, and uh, there was very brief hello, hi, and. soon after that she took a camera as well as her cam and she started shooting uh she's like are you ready i said uh, yes and then yeah. she started shooting the scenes and uh, and it wasn't the space i was sitting across a table like a meeting room table and i was 
just uh, uh, finding a new way to do the same scenes. And uh, and I remember I showed the audition of Mo- uh, the, the 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 trailer of this film called Monsoon Shootout, which was uh, either just about to release or had just released with Nawaz, right? And I wanted to I wanted to impress her that uh, I'm just not a not a uh, you know a newcomer. I have done a feature film before, and <laughs> uh, so she 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 showed barely any interest in it, and she just like the meeting ended. I went back home and. It took a long time for them to come back and and uh, and lock me for the part. I guess yeah. they had more options. As well. Yeah, that's the worst part. Did, was it a similar process to get the role for Pink? Was it like you go <sighs> casting director, director, screen test, yeah. or was that a different process? It was. It was the same process for Pink as well. Yeah, uh, but that one was I, I tested in the afternoon and the evening I was locked. So oh wow, pretty. that's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's like a commercial audition. That was like yeah. we want to go. That's great. Yeah. What was and it? I was so surprised because I, have, I, I, I don't hail from Delhi, which is north of India. Yeah, and uh, I'm from the south, mostly from the south. And I felt that I did a terrible job in that audition because I don't know the accent so well. But apparently, they liked it, so it was nice. Yeah, and that and that weird sometimes. You go in, you nail an audition, you feel like you got it, and they don't cast you. Then you go do something, and you're not really happy with it, and you book that job. What in the world? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen them both. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What was it like? Um, obviously, we're we're big fans of uh, Ranveer. Uh, working with somebody that, um, let's use the word eccentric, and that much energy. Obviously, that role was obviously very subdued for his normal uh, energy, but what was it like working yeah. with uh, Ranveer? Uh, I saw, I saw the 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 the, the Ranveer that we all know of uh, at the rap at the rap party, which is the end of the shoot. Okay. Through the course of the shoot, he was uh, he was really channelizing Murad, uh, the, the character he was playing. He was totally within the zone and and really uh, restrained and and beautiful uh, and and. And he was trying to imbibe everything, every possible element uh, of the space, of the people, of the costume, mm. of of everything to 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 bring a unique performance, which he did. Yeah, yeah. And that was my next question regarding working with him was not just how he was in between, because I would imagine what you said that that he had to maintain that smallness all of the time because he's such a big person. Uh, he also and seemed to be a very right? Go ahead. And he was coming right after Padmavat. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. But he, he also seems to be, when you're doing scene work with him, he seems to be a very giving actor, somebody who your work is is improved upon because you're working with someone that's giving you so much. Is that your experience with him? He's a that kind of an actor where you feel good about who you're working with? I mean, obviously, I don't want you to say, no, he sucks. It was awful. But it, he seems like he's a very generous actor. Yeah, and I've mentioned this before as well because uh, it's just not giving. He's also very interested in receiving as well. So therefore, Mm -hmm. anybody who wants to receive more has a tendency to give as well uh, because Mm -hmm. that's how we are designed uh, uh, psychologically, you know. So Mm -hmm. he he not only made sure that he gives me a lot, but there were there were times when uh, uh, when. The discussion was such that we start, uh, we we shot the master, we shot close ups, we shot two shots, and then uh, they came. They came my close up of the same scene, and uh, it was late in the night. We were all tired, so I was like, "Can we start at the middle somewhere?" Uh, and he was like, "No, no, we start from the top. Uh, why do you want to? Why do you want to waste the opportunity?" I said, "Sir, but uh, uh, he's like, what are you going to do with that energy? Take it back home and do what with it?" <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Uh, you obviously in your young career, you've got to work with some absolute massive heavyweights in terms of Big B, Nawaz, Tripathi, uh, Tapsi, Ranveer, Rithik. Like uh, <laughs> that's 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 insane. That, that, do you? Is it is it as insane to you like to be able to in this short amount of time already be in contention with those absolute massive heavyweights as an actor 
Is it ever intimidating working with any of these people? I think once you work with Amitabh Bachchan, then you're sorted for life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's then nobody can intimidate you. Yeah, makes sense because he's such a smooth operator mm-hmm. uh, on the set. Uh, he comes from a experience of fifty years, and he he leads from the front, and you learn from him, and he makes it comfortable for you. And then this is it for you, and then you are not starstruck. Or mm-hmm. you're not intimidated after Amitabh Bachchan. It's like Marlon Brando. <laughs> yeah. Very good comparison. So obviously, uh, we were really happy when we saw that season two of Merds of Pro was going to include you in the cast. Um, and Spoilers for who, uh, anybody who hasn't seen yeah, season two yet. <laughs> anybody who has not seen second season of Merds of Pro, put pause right here. Uh, we'll probably get into some spoilers. But... Uh, we would love to know how you became involved with uh, with that as our first question. Uh, Gully Boy released on 14th of Feb 2019. I was signed uh, for Mirzapur on 20th of February. <laughs> <laughs> really? That's great. <laughs> That's <They saw> fantastic. <laughs> did they just did they just hire you off the off the off the tape of Gully Boy? Yeah, they just they just held my hand and they said, "We are we are getting you a double role in season two. I'm like, okay, <laughs> that's fantastic. <laughs> that's fantastic. And so, like I said, spoilers. Um, go away for a while if you haven't seen season two and go watch it. Um, yes. What was it like? Um, one acting with yourself was it uh, intimidating for you? <laughs> <laughs> Are you a generous actor? Do you give yourself everything you <laughs> what, were, what were the challenges of uh, uh, being in twin roles and actually having to act with yourself? Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed the process uh, because the first thing that we would do when I go to the set and when we when we're shooting my my scene is I go with the director and the cameraman and I design the scene as to. Uh, the 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 junior the senior will say these things. Look at senior. Uh, I have to design the entire exchange of the look, the exchange of the energy first, uh, and then watch it. Then what? I'll sit here and do something. Then I'll sit there and do something. Mm-hmm. And then I leave, get ready as one of the brothers. Come back, work with the other actors, shoot that side, and everybody stays there. Everything is marked. The camera can't move. Nobody can move. Every plate, every utensil, every spoon, which is on the table, stays the way it is. I go back, change into the other brother, come back and finish the scene. Uh, so this was the technical side of of, of mm-hmm. the performance, but uh, but the emotional side of 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 it was to uh, maintain a very distinct uh, sense of energy about both these brothers. Uh, and within the within say the next ten minutes, I'll have to change that. Uh, from one brother to the other brother, yeah, mm-hmm. uh, which took a bit of a learning for me because it was new. Uh, a great, great deal of help came from uh, from the makers who were closely monitoring uh, because it's the same person with the same voice. In fact, at one point in the show, if you've noticed, uh, it's the same outfit, yeah, uh, mm-hmm. and same hair, and and and, and no, uh, there's no there's no real distinction in terms of physicality. Except for left-handedness and the right-handedness, and yeah. and, 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 right. and small details. Uh, yeah. So it was mostly uh, the way they would respond to uh, to information emotionally differently was the main uh, uh, question. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, was it difficult? Because I'm assuming you're not ambidextr- amb- ambidextrous. Was it difficult at no. times whenever the hand that you are not dominant in that you had to kind of force yourself to use more? Was it was that difficult at all? Or was it easy task? No, it was no, it was a lot of fun. Okay. Uh, shaking hand uh, with this uh, for the older brother and shaking and we've kept all of these small, small uh, stuff like it. At the sugar cane stall, I used the left hand to take because he's the older brother, it's his stronger arm. Mm-hmm. Left arm uh, mm-hmm. to put the put the other guy's hand in the in the sugar cane uh, yeah. juicer. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it was it was it wasn't difficult because I was also I enjoy such things because on a shoot uh, for twelve hours you're barely shooting for four hours. 
Yeah. 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 Uh, and I, I have a two part question about the role. I think I know the answer to one. Um, but, and by the way, the technical aspects, some of the subtle things that were done when you, when both characters were in frame were absolutely so beautifully technical. People don't, I don't think realize who understand the craft, how difficult it was for some of those shots where you're both brothers in the same frame and it was beautiful. Um, I, it Thank sounds you. like this, this, this was scripted always as one actor playing both characters. Is that true? I guess, I guess, I don't know much about what went behind uh, the maker's mind to create this. In fact, it's one of my curiosity post the release to find out why they have written these characters and and what was the what was the reason. And uh, and I think we should uh, try to uh, get you find to talk out. to them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I, uh, I love that they I love that they chose you, and I I love the choice you made, and I, I'm assuming it was a conscious choice that you didn't make them definitively different in their appearance. And Corbin and I loved that, that the choice to make these brothers just different by the, the nature of their energy and just their personality. And you succeeded. Was that your choice to keep them just basically, just let them look the same, but have a completely different energy? Yes, that was the only way we were working. That was the only direction we were trying to work towards because We've seen enough uh, double roles where there are tropes uh, being used and, uh, and, and like a, a mole to be right. very loud yeah. uh, or a completely different or a size or something like that. But they had yeah. exactly the same hair length to, to the clean shaven, to the same earrings, to the same and at one point same outfit, um, uh, which is actually true. I have a couple of friends who are twins, a couple of <laughs> I, I, have, I know two boys who are twins and I know two girls who are twins and between uh, these two pairs I can tell uh, the girls apart but the boys I can't and I've mm. been knowing, I've known them for, for a few years I can't tell them apart hmm. uh, and I get confused between uh, the both of them and uh, which I wanted to keep even in this I wanted to because they sound uh, just like each other Yep. Uh, mm -hmm. So the, we, I didn't want to use a different voice. Uh, I, I just didn't want to. I wanted to handicap myself or restrict myself in terms of physicality, but I, I try to understand how we can emotionally respond differently. Yeah. yeah. Did you? Well, did, it worked. Did you watch any other uh, performances by any other actors throughout cinematic history that also played twins? Like one of our favorites is uh, Tom Hardy in Legend. He played twins in, in in that film I, I i missed that film i should i should re re revisit it but for this particular film i i uh, for, for mirzapur i had not got gone back and and seen something but but somewhere during so i think somewhere during the time i was either finishing it or 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 while shooting or maybe after I, I don't remember but I was blown by Gulshan's performance in Mard Ko Dard Nahi Hota there's a film called Mard Ko Dard Nahi Hota in which Gulshan Deveya this, uh, this really phenomenal actor we have here uh -huh. played uh, played the twins but they were remarkably remarkably uh, different looking uh, twins like one had full beard one was clean shaven they're distinctly different but but the play between the two uh, siblings was, was smashing to watch yeah but recently after I shot uh, Mirzapur, and very recently I saw uh, I Know This Much Is True by Mark Ruffolo. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen that one. Yeah, A and that has been the most profound piece of uh, of, of melancholy, melan melancholy performances ever uh, mm. on, 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 uh, on the screen. I mean, that, that show broke me into pieces and it doesn't let me breathe. Uh, yeah. mm. And such a such an inspired performance by Mark Ruffalo. Mm. He's playing a twin brother, and one of them is, is is a schizophrenic, and it's mm. it's a it's a downward spiral it's a downward spiral into tragedy. You look know, it up. Amazing performance. I'll look it up. Yeah, yeah, we love him. He's a great actor. Great actor. Now, he's it, one of my. Your, yeah, yeah, he's a great actor. Uh, is 
is your process uh, somewhat the same with each role as an actor, or does it change depending upon the, the need? I just interested in how you go about creating a character. It, there are some uh, things which are constant, and then there are some things which are varying uh, from film to film. The constants are uh, to get the region, the language, uh, the culture, uh, the, the the social and economic placement of the character right every time i i try mm -hmm. to understand if the character comes from a certain background and from a certain region has to sound uh, that he belongs to that space and therefore it needs a bit of a work in terms of your oratory skills your your voice or your or, or accents because i'm good with accents i'm not good with languages i can't mm -hmm. i can't learn languages easily mm -hmm. but with accents i can manage especially with indian, indian accents uh, um so I try to sound. Uh, I try to bring the the elements, uh, these elements, uh, every time, and uh, and then the the added pressure of not doing something that you've done before. So I discard all the possibilities there, um, and then we create something new from there. So if I have, say, used a certain gesture before, and it, it is it is widely recognized as a gesture. And it is also part of my personality. I try to not use it. I mm -hmm. try to uh, choose something else. And these are con uh, these are very conscious choices. Otherwise, you will go back and do. Uh, if you have to do it subconsciously, you will still do something that you've done before, or that comes naturally, organically inside you. Yeah. So you right. have to. Uh, and I don't look at the monitor, so I have to. Uh, yeah. I have to be mindful of what I'm doing. At the same time, lose myself in the scene. So it's a bit of an exercise. Also, it takes a bit of an experience to 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 get this right. Yeah, yeah. Um, on one of my favorite scenes in season two um, was the. I guess it was a pre-sex scene that you had uh, with uh, Gutu. Um, I get, uh, Gulu. but. Yeah, Gulu, sorry. Uh, I mispronounce everything. Um, In an alternate universe. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> but um, I, we loved that scene. We thought it was really beautifully well done, uh, writing, acting-wise, and everything. Uh, was What was probably your most difficult scene for you to shoot in, in, in filming uh, Musipur? I think all the scenes where both the brothers are there, uh, it takes a bit of a, it can be a little overbearing because most of the actors are really, the, the co-actors that you're working with are tied to the space because mm -hmm. because I have to play the, both the parts and they have to wait. Uh, and sometimes you feel responsible for them. Uh, so that can uh, play, uh, play a role sometimes. But uh, it's, I would say, the the banter between uh, Munna uh, and the senior Tyagi and uh, Sharad, where they're sitting and they're enjoying a drink, and then they get into yeah, uh, well, their little fight, back, which is like yeah. a yo mama, yeah, kind of a, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. yo papa, uh, yeah. So, and what can you tell us? Uh, because we know um, part of you will be in uh, season three. So, do you know anything about season three uh, and and when uh, what what's going to go on there? Uh, nobody knows right now. We we'll, we are all at the mercy of the makers. Yeah. Uh, and the, and the platform, uh, but uh, but it's a, it's a hugely popular show, and I don't see it uh, not happening. But to answer your previous question the scene that you were talking about with Golu mm -hmm. uh, was it the, you're talking about the scene where she asks uh, Tyagi to, to whip <laughs> yeah. her yeah yeah yeah. that was that was uh, that was I think a very interesting choice uh, for, for Golu's character yeah if you if you observed in season one her introduction uh, is she's sitting in a library and yep. she's reading an erotic yes. book Yep. Yes. And in that erotic book, there is description of. Oh uh, yeah, I, getting beaten. I forgot about that part. Yeah. I yeah, I didn't remember that specific thing. Wow. Even 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 I had no idea about it. I was told. Yeah. Uh, after we shot it, that it's actually a goal. Uh, uh, her character's 
uh, way Fantasy, of, uh, yeah. of, 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 of eroticism. So, mm, yeah. so it was an interesting choice for for that character. But I also it was interesting to see somebody like the junior tag tagi in that space because yeah. he doesn't belong. Yeah. <laughs> right, right, very foreign for him. And, and that that was a completely improvised moment where she says, "Hit me and uh, hit." She says, "Hit," and then. He, Tiagi being Tiagi, <laughs> yeah. uh, that was improvised. <laughs> yeah, Th- that was that's uh, that was improvised. Yeah, I told the maker that I think when she during the rehearsal that uh, she says hit, I said because he doesn't know about these yeah. Things. She's read not uh, read the literature. She would she knows uh, this guy probably not even kissed any, any other woman. So <laughs> right, right. That's hilarious. Now you said you watched obviously some of the playback to understand what was going on as you you played the, the twins do you typically like to see playback or dailies or do you even watch your performances after they go up on the screen no yeah uh, not the playback not on the on the set monitor and in particularly this case uh, all of this was done in the post hmm. so there was no way i could tell if the scene is working or not it was it was all left to uh, the makers to figure that out yeah. uh, and you see it uh, very rarely uh, in the first couple of days uh, of of a new character i like to go and see a, a non uh, a non hectic or a non uh, emotional shot of my character just to see if the look is working right yeah uh, yeah and because all these aware once i get aware of 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 a few things i think it 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 uh, it it controls the performance i yeah. like it to be free so Absolutely. i i try my best to not look at the shots yeah yeah um the mizapur is is known for just getting great actors um not huge stars uh to be part of um their show at least in the first two seasons um they've known for just getting like the well established really talented actors uh, like yourself and everybody else in the cast um who would you like to see in season three i have a couple names i would love like you know vj raz nawaz you know a bunch of these types <laughs> of actors who would you like to see bring on to the cast in season three <laughs> uh i think vijay raz is a great addition because yeah. we've been we've been uh, we've been hearing him in the trailers in the promotions everywhere because they're using his voice at these such a genius uh, and such a cool character yeah uh, somebody i i personally am a fan of and yeah. and and, we, apparently, and it so happened that we were playing father and son in 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 the, in the other show suitable boy yep. which released the same day you know, the same day yeah uh, so i think that's going to be a great addition but uh, our arms are wide open and <laughs> we welcome anybody who comes in welcome anybody yeah yeah so now now obviously your career has spanned you've done theater you've done motion picture and you've done television series do you have a preference as an actor or are they just completely different things that you can't compare to one another i've never managed to compare uh, one with the other uh but the but the but the euphoria of watching uh your work being lauded on big screen is unparalleled and uh, and when you when you see that everything that you do on screen has a response in a in a hall full of 800,000 people it does something and uh, and it's deeply overwhelming and uh, so nothing can match it right now say 1000 people were reacting to me in a one single screen uh, movie theater mm-hmm. uh we get that in our messages and instagram stories and twitter right now <laughs> so it's it's changed uh, its form but we we still get the response yeah but but just to feel the energy in in a in a house full of, full of a, a, a theater full of people is unparalleled at the same time if your film is not working oh that energy <laughs> is <also. laughs> yeah, it's a whole different energy it's the collective mourning of the makers they sit and they <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, oh my god! 
well that it, didn't work <laughs> yeah really friday out of theater sunday so <laughs> yeah or or you go to a premiere of a hindi film that doesn't have subtitles and you don't speak the language that's something some people do <laughs> That's what we did. I think I think you're in a great space because if you don't like the film, you can always say that in Hindi language. I wish I had that. I wish I had that privilege. Yeah. Because I've been to these uh, these screenings where the film sucks, and I just don't know how to be, uh, what to do with my hands, and where to look, and. And most of the times, the makers are standing right at the door to greet everybody, and I'm like, "Oh, we'll avoid this one." Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah I wish I could. I could say that I don't know the language. <laughs> so, you are now very seasoned in the OTT platforms. Uh, Mizapur, uh, not Sudo- really. I'm just a year old. Yeah, but like you have Suitable Boy. She, I think she was my first release. She, Suitable Boy, and Mizapur. Um And so you've done more than most. I'm, uh, I'm six, eight months old. <laughs> You're just a little baby. Good way to put it. Yeah, but good way do, to put it. Do you, do you see a big difference in... Um, because there was a quote... I, I saw an interview where you said, um, I think it was, art has no boundaries, which is a fantastic statement. Um, do you feel like that's more true, at least currently, in the OTT platforms? Uh, and do you see it changing in the in the um, at least the censorship of the the films that can go into the theaters? Uh, art has no boundaries. When I say that, it, uh, it 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 translates. It doesn't require any uh, anything like like how we are taught as actors that emotions are transparent. Mm-hmm. If uh, if I feel the pain, uh, somebody who is watching it would also feel it. Or if I break into a laughter, even if you're not finding it funny, you'll still smile because it's, it, 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 it translates. It, 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 uh, it flows from one to the other. Mm-hmm. Just the same way art also translates and it flows from one to the other. It doesn't require you to have a knowledge of language, culture, background, uh, or any of these things. But to answer your question about uh, OTT, is that the access of of your work is instant, is convenient, at the same time readily available across several countries and regions. So that mm-hmm. right barrier, the the platform, the streaming services are breaking for you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but uh, it was the case with movies also, but it took it it took some films to go there. Uh, as a wide release and some of them stayed and then there are some of them very specific uh, releases which are meant for festivals uh, and they go and become the ambassadors of their country in, in various spaces yeah. Uh, yeah sorry I got lost I got <laughs> no that's no. okay that's okay um, another question that's related to the same subject is you know, one of the things Corbin and I've discovered in the past two years is just this this depth of really beautiful talent of actors and actresses in Indian cinema. And very few have either wanted or actually had the opportunity to do a lot of work in American cinema the way that Irfan has or Taboo has yeah. or even like Priyanka now has. Or Ali. It's, it's, yeah, yeah, exactly. Ali. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Ali has. Is that something as part of your dream for yourself as an actor? Is that something you would like to do? Are there American movie makers, directors, actors that you're like, yes, part of my career goal is I want to do American films? Or is that one of those things? If it happened, that would be great. No, it is part of it is uh, not just part of the dream, but it's also part of a plan. Mm-hmm. So uh, I I want to make it happen. Uh, Good. I'm just taking my my time uh, to 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 get into the thick of things here. I also want to learn a little more about acting. Uh, so that could also happen parallelly, <laughs> especially in a good institute in America. Uh, mostly character character related work. Yeah. Uh, and bit of writing. So I want to learn <laughs> more. I feel like uh, it's been few years since I've not had real training again. So I think I need to brush up my skills all over again at the same time there are incredible amount of uh, i mean great number of of directors that i deeply admire paul thomas anderson um yeah. is one of my most favorite uh, most favorite the, the themes that he has in his films resonates very deeply with me and 
angly and uh, and and then, then there is yes. i mean there are so many i can't even the the the, the director of silver lining playbook uh uh oh uh, yeah um russell russell david russell yeah, yeah gotcha david yeah. Russell. yeah and, and host of uh, i mean deeply inspiring uh, uh filmmakers who, who move um uh, so yeah let's see what happens i don't know what's in store but but definitely i do want to work not just in uh, in hindi cinema but i want to work in multiple languages within india at the same time i also want to work in the west yeah absolutely yeah. um uh, what is a uh, one thing um that you would like to see change in indian cinema i think uh, the the discussion around the numbers uh uh of of how much money a film is earning on first yes. day and the second day and the third day absolutely uh, that 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 just uh, you know played such a big spoil sport uh in the way we discuss uh the stories and the films it just became about uh, how much money a film is earning therefore if it is good or not you know right yep. that right if not i mean i'm so glad and i'm like for god sake we've not heard this for 6 8 months last 6 8 months nobody's been discussing figures i don't know what those guys who used to constantly tweet about uh the box office numbers how their life is shaping out right now yeah but uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah and, and part of the reason why the streaming services work better is because they don't discuss the numbers yeah uh, of how many yep. people are watching how much money they are making because it's yep. none of the audience is business yeah it's not the point of the film like <laughs> yeah it's no, like, no, we, We talk about that all the time. We talk about the fact that we don't understand why people will say this movie is great because it had good box office numbers. Uh, it makes no sense on an artistic level at all. Grant, I, we understand it's a business, you need to make money, but we agree with you. We would love to see more appreciation of the art form, not just this it made that amount of money. Paul Thomas Anderson's yeah. films don't it, normally it, make a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, or blast them or say terrible things about them, but say something apart from saying that this film was too gross and this film was twenty gross. This yeah. is like yeah. uh, uh, this is no conversation around yeah. around yeah. movies. Yeah, not even if it is not entertainment. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm okay, glad so we've not heard this for last six eight months. Yeah, yeah, it is a good thing. So okay, two part two part question similar in that regard to what is uh, if you can single this out. What's your favorite thing about acting, and what's your least favorite thing? about acting um i i don't know what's my favorite thing about acting uh apart from uh, it's become a way of life and the only single thing i feel like i can do uh, uh a decent job in uh yeah. i've i've suffered like i just like just getting a plum- plumber to go and fix my uh, to call a plumber to come and fix my uh, uh toilet can become such a big task and 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 in cracking these complex characters is far easier for me yeah. so yeah uh, i feel uh, you <laughs> <laughs> just getting day to day activities done becomes a task and when i'm shooting i feel like i'm on a holiday because i'm constantly in the mode of creation and i enjoy that yeah. uh what is the least favorite thing i think when i'm not working <laughs> <laughs> i i often yeah. i often used to tell that uh when people used to say so you should take a holiday i said the um, when i'm shooting it's holiday when i'm not shooting and looking yep. for work is actual work yep <laughs> yep do you exactly. do you come to uh well i mean before the pandemic do you come to la often do you have an agency out here already no not, not yet, yet. Okay. Uh, i've not been to la okay uh, i've been to new, new york uh my film monsoon shootout premiered there in 2013 so i was uh i was in, uh, in new york for for a week 10 days but uh but uh, i am talking to some people to figure something out yeah well, well if you ever come to la uh look us up we would be, we'll be glad to take you around man uh i want to uh thank you so much for talking to us i'll finish this off with a uh, a little bit of rapid fire uh questions for you just dumb questions they make no sense um coffee or chai uh it depends on the food that i'm eating with uh, gotcha. i'm eating uh, what food uh sorry it depends on the food that i'm having the coffee or the tea with what's your favorite food uh, uh home cooked 
vegetarian food. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Favorite alcoholic beverage? I like gin. Mm. Uh, it works very well. In the <laughs> and, yeah. <laughs> it, yes. Agreed. <gasps> Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, uh, your favorite Hollywood film? Mm. Oh my God! Difficult to choose one. Choose a couple. That's fine. Yeah, you could choose five. The first ones that come to the top of your head. Some of your favorite films. The Master. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, and uh, uh, Goodfellas. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, King of Comedy. Oh, yeah. Great film. Annie Hall. Great gotcha. film. And uh, The Godfather, like everybody else. <laughs> Actually, on that, um, just a quick det- uh, going away from the rapid fire, uh, you said King of Comedy, which we talked about who in India should play the Joker if it was ever to be remade. I think you would be a fantastic choice. Is that a is that a role you would ever you would love to play? I would imagine. Oh man, I would totally sink my teeth in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. I think you'd be fantastic. Favorite Indian film any region? Favorite Indian film any region? Uh, one thing too much. Oh, yeah. With that uh, earphone. Uh yeah. Favorite Indian director? Vikramaditya uh, Motwane. I don't think we, I don't think we he know. He made uh, Udan. Udan was fascinating. Lutera. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, we know him. Yeah, we know him. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. We're we're dumb. Um, favorite Hollywood director? Is it Paul Thomas Anderson? Yes. Yes. Uh, and your uh, favorite Hollywood actor? Robert De Niro. <laughs> That's a very common theme with the, a lot of the actors we've talked to from India. Robert De Niro, Al Pacino are the are the the favorite actors of. See, Pacino, De Niro, Brando, Hoffman, both yep. Hoffman, Phyllis Simmer, Hoffman, yes. Dustin Hoffman. Yep. Uh, and Dan Lithovich, Jack Nicholson. Uh, from the from the new lot, uh, I would say uh, uh, deeply moved by uh, by uh, early work of Ryan Gosling, and yep. uh, but I think uh, somebody like uh, say, uh, I, I I mean I have a, a separate place in my heart for uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman. Yeah, so do we. Uh, we love him. It's just. Uh, he he was one of those actors who would disappear. Oh yeah. When uh, in the screenplay and come out only when he's required to, and then hide back. Uh, one of the very co- very. Uh, he never wanted to shine. No. Nope. Uh, never wanted to. Uh, you know, uh, whatever yeah. the role is required. Uh, uh, whatever the role required him to be, uh, he reimagined. He made us imagine it in in his yeah. way. You know. He, yeah, uh, yeah, he he never had a false moment, is what we like to say. Is we've never seen anything we've ever seen of his work. He's never had a false moment. He's always been wonderful. Yeah, he's very yeah. similar another, to uh, another actor. An, an, another actor that I'm uh, I'm completely awestruck every time I watch him is Benicio del Toro. Oh. Uh, he, 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 I mean, uh, when I was getting very small parts in Indian films. Uh, I used to watch his films because he had also done a, a lot of small parts at the beginning of his career, and he was so good. He would make mm-hmm. the scene work. Uh, he would uh, he would do something within that moment which became special every time. Uh, yeah. I don't know if you've seen this film called Swimming Swimming uh, Swimming with Sharks. Uh, no, uh, I, I've with, heard of it, but I've never seen it. I mean, he's playing a secretary who uh, at a Hollywood studio who just answers phone, uh, and he's. He has one scene where he's giving the job to the new guy, who's the main guy uh, in the story. He, his job is to hand over the job to this new boy, and you have to see how he's owned that scene and how. Uh, I'll look did, it up. Did, did you see? Uh, have you seen Sicario? Uh, of course, I have seen Sicario. <laughs> making sure. Just making sure. <laughs> 
even the 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 what was that film the iconic film the usual suspect yeah yes he is phenomenal in that film yeah he's a great actor and your favorite indian actor besides yourself <laughs> no no i'm not my favorite <laughs> <laughs> that's a good thing <laughs> it's a uh, it's uh, it's a very close tie between irfan khan and nasiruddin shah yes yeah we got yeah those are uh the especially um that that's nasiruddin especially of the, the the actors we've talked to him uh he is like the thespian that most actors look up to in terms of indian cinema that's he's like the he was one of the um i'm guessing the people who broke new ground in terms of what you could do with acting in indian cinema um and so yeah he's his name comes up all the time yeah he was he was a torch bearer he he started mm-hmm. showing us what to do i mean uh, irfan saab irfan of course yes nasir saab and we are learning from irfan saab uh, mm-hmm. so it it passed on the torch that nasir uh, saab started uh, bearing it passed on to uh, the generation later on yeah Well, I want to thank you so much for talking to us, man. Well, I've wanted to talk to you since probably Gully Boy because we we, we loved Boy. it so much. Um so we are very excited for for your future of your career uh, in terms of Indian cinema and in terms of hopefully we'll see you in some Hollywood films along with uh, a bunch of other really talented Indian actors, but we have we're so looking forward to season 3 and uh Rick, go ahead. Yeah, and obviously Corbin said this already. At whatever point you get to Los Angeles, this is where we live. We would love to see you in person, uh buy you a gin and tonic or what other form of gin drink you'd like to have. And we are we're rooting for you and please let us know. Oh, that's one of the other quick things. Is there anything immediately coming up that your fans and stupid baby should know that is coming up for you that we should know about a project? Super boy. Okay, so there is one show which is uh probably one of the most uh unique concept that uh anybody has ever created in india hmm. uh you know uh, it's made by the uh, by the bunch of people who uh who are associated with films like tumbar and ship of theseus um huh so it's it's a mockumentary uh, and a sci-fi and uh and i play a i play an an officer from the future who is investigating a murder uh, by a self driven car what what's and it called murder by a self driven car yeah what's it called yeah wh- it's a uh, tentatively titled okay computer okay is it coming out next year it it's going to come out early next year i guess i don't see it so on your for that It's not even on your IMDb yet. <laughs> no, it's not there anywhere. It's it's closely guarded. This is the first time I'm talking about it. That's awesome. And uh, awesome. We've shot we've shot it and uh it has uh some incredible actors in it and it has a uh, Are you allowed to rev- a real of... No, I'm not allowed. Okay, got gotcha. you. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. We'll keep our eyes closed. Okay, right now the working title's okay computer. Yeah, and Radhika okay. Apte is in it. Oh, oh. Does, does that mean All it's right. a ne- does uh, that mean it's a Netflix film? Uh, I think it's on Hotstar. Hotstar. Okay. Well, that that sounds Thank fantastic. You, Thank you. I I can't wait to uh to watch that. Um so all best of luck to you in your career man. Stay safe and uh thank yes, you so sir. much for talking to us, man. Yeah. Thank you Corbin and thank you Rick man. I'll come and see you in LA soon. Thanks you. Yes, thank you. Have a good Take night. Bye. Bye bye.